iNews Views, January 13th. Influenza has hit 47 states in the U.S. and is causing billions of dollars in direct costs for hospitalization and outpatient visits. There is also the lost productivity and worker absenteeism. Frequent hand washing and staying home from school or work when sick is the best way to prevent an even greater outbreak of this deadly disease. France and the UN are sending in troops and airstrikes to push Islamist rebels back from key Mali positions. The weak government there had asked for military support in response to the rebels overrunning the village of Kona. The U.S. is sending drones to gather intelligence about Islamist troop movement. Mali is a former French colony. Many industry experts predicted the Galaxy Note would be a gigantic flop but they were very wrong. In 2012, Samsung sold 10 million Galaxy Notes, and in the fall, introduced and sold 5 million Galaxy Note 2s. In the third quarter last year, Apple, Sony, HTC, and Research in Motion's combined market share didn't equal Samsung's. This Korean Goliath makes everything and lets its customers say what's best. Nice strategy. The most popular Hollywood star in South Korea is probably Tom Cruise, who just wrapped up his sixth visit to Korea to promote the new Jack Reacher thriller. He received honorary Busan citizenship and touted the movie as having something for everyone. It opens throughout Korea on January 17th. China's little emperors are revealing the problems of the strictly mandated one-child policy enacted in 1979. Some Australian researchers have found that these babies have grown up to be less trusting of others and less willing to enter risky occupations like freelancers, stockbrokers, and self-employed entrepreneurs. Food waste is a global concern. Experts estimate up to half of all food produced is wasted, and school cafeterias are a primary target for efforts to reduce this needless trend. Some researchers simply posted signs urging students to not waste food and the results were encouraging. Another strategy is doing away with food trays and all-you-can-eat policies. A good motto is, all taste and no waste.